For the longest time, I've thought in order to be a successful art educator, I must be the second coming of Courbet, Van Gogh, Thomas Aikens, or Manet. The list goes on. That is not the case. Although having the technical skills play a role in being an art educator, it doesn't stop at just that. Teaching art is not only showing students how to paint something or draw a portrait. It is about whether or not we are providing our students with a safe environment for discussion and self-expression. The real world is a scary place. We all have problems we deal with on a daily basis. Oftentimes, some students don't know how to deal with them or talk to someone about what they are experiencing in their personal lives. This is where we as art educators step in. We're, we are able to give those students the opportunities to express what is on their mind. If they are going through a life-altering event or want to express their thoughts and ideas about things going on in the world, they can use the materials we have available to them in our classrooms to express what that event is and what thoughts are running through their minds. Expressing thoughts and ideas will then lead to discussions amongst one another. We as human beings need interaction. We are privileged in that our classrooms are the perfect environment to get students talking and interacting. Using our roles in the classroom, we not only help our students express their thoughts, but we encourage them to learn to work as part of a team and understand different points of view. Additionally, catering our lessons to their interests could help them develop an understanding and an appreciation for different cultures, which then can translate to an increased sense of tolerance and social acceptance. Our educators have so much power. We have the tools to equip students with the skills they need to go out into the real world and be successful. And it's up to us to help them get there.